Parmeshwar, uh, lots of major announcements made by the Reserve Bank of India uh, in its monetary policy decision. Now, number one, interest rate has been hiked by 20, 25 basis points to 6.5% now. Now, this is the RBI's repo rate and that has been hiked to the highest since August 2018. Now, how does this really matter to you and me? This is the interest rate that the Reserve Bank of India charges commercial banks when it lends uh, money to the commercial banks. So, uh, commercial banks are also likely to pass on this higher interest rate to people like you and me when we go on for our loans and when we deposit our uh, money in the bank. So the good news might be that uh, the interest rate that you might get on your deposits in banks might increase by close to 20 to 25 basis points. But the bad news is that your loans might uh, get uh, more expensive, your loan EMIs might get more, uh, might increase as you will now have to pay a higher interest rate that could go up by around 20 to 25 basis points again. Now let's go uh, through the other major announce announcements made by the RBI governor. He said that the Indian economy remains resilient amid those global recession fears. And on inflation, he said that inflation is likely to stay above the 4% target this year. Remember, the RBI has a, a, an inflation target band of 2 to 6% and inflation is now uh, below that 6% target for the last two months. And that's why the Reserve Bank is saying that inflation is easing, but core inflation still remains to be high. Now, now let's talk about growth. The Reserve Bank projects FY 2024 GDP growth rate at 6.4%, which is lower than uh, the, what the economic survey projected at 6.5%, uh, but it's higher than what the IMF projected at 6.1%, but the World Bank uh, forecasted it at, uh, the World Bank's forecast stands at 6.6%. So the RBI's forecast uh, lies somewhere in between uh, of the World Bank forecast and the IMF forecast as well. Now if you talk about the inflation forecast, that has been cut to 6.5% from 6.7% earlier, and um, the, the RBI governor also commented on the rupee saying that it's one of the least volatile among the peers and it in fact reflects the economy's resilience. Now there's also an interesting announcement that has been made by the governor. The RBI has extended the UPI facility to inbound travellers to India. Now uh, the UPI, uh, UPI facility will be permitted for travellers from G20 countries. The governor said that UPI has become hugely popular for retail digital payments in India and it is now proposed to permit all inbound uh, travellers in India to use UPI for their merchant payments. P2 M while they are in the country. To begin with, this facility will be extended to travellers from G20 countries arriving at select international airports. So those are the key highlights from the Reserve Bank of India's monetary policy statement. Thanks so much, Priyanji, for that update.